All right, we have got an all new update for Samsung's clock application, which brings in some cool new feature additions. In this video, let's go ahead and take a look at them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead, smash that subscribe button to become a part of Apex community and smash that like button if you find this video useful. Now let's go ahead and take a look at them. On the right hand side, I've got Note 20 Ultra where I have updated the clock application and on the left hand side, I've got this A52 where we have the previous version of the clock application. Now let's see the change log. The first one says the expected end time of the currently running timer is displayed. Let me show you this. Let's open timer on both these devices. Let's select a particular time and run the timer. As you can see on this all new version, we can see the expected end time of the currently running timer within the circle itself. Whereas in the previous version, we don't see that. That is the first feature we have. Let's go to the change log now. The second one says the contact us feature has been moved to the menu in the settings. Now, if you look at the previous version, when we tap on this three dot button, we could see contact us on the work clock, on the stopwatch, as well as on the timer. This was really unnecessary. So Samsung has moved this contact us option to the settings menu itself. As you can see, we have the settings menu here and we have contact us option right here. That is the second change. The third one is the widget background color has been partially improved. Though it says this, I don't see much of a difference between these two versions of the widgets in terms of color background. Anyways, that's mentioned over here. The next one is the color of the alert backgrounds from the alarm timer has been changed. As you can see, there is a slight difference in the color of the alert backgrounds. It looks a bit more polished and a bit more better compared to the previous version. Now, the next one is countries in which Spotify alarm sounds are supported have been added. Now, this point is a little confusing. In my region, the Spotify alarm sounds are already supported and I can see the Spotify option while setting an alarm. Perhaps they mean to say that some more countries have been added with this all new feature. I'm not sure about it. If you did not have the support for Spotify alarm sounds in your country, let me know after updating this application, did you get the support or not? Let's move to the next one. You can set smart devices according to the bedtime settings of the alarm. Galaxy Watch 4 users can additionally set smart devices that operate when the user falls asleep with the watch on. This is nothing but automating the smart devices to work depending on your bedtime mode on your alarm. Since I don't have these smart devices, I wouldn't be able to demonstrate it here, but this is a cool addition. If you have one, go ahead and try it out and let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. These are the changes we have got with this all new update for Samsung's clock application. Go ahead, update your clock application and let me know what do you think about these all new features, whether it makes sense to you or not. Let me know in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.